Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So I just finished detailing this 2023 Aston Martin Vantage and it's a convertible top as you guys can see. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily clean and protect your fabric tops for them to last a long time and using simple products and easy, easy tools. You guys know me. I like to make detailing accessible to everybody. By the way, I'll leave the links to all the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, today, by the way, I'm wearing my Omega uh, Seamaster 007 James Bond edition. I thought it was appropriate uh, as I'm detailing the James Bond Aston Martin behind me uh, in this beautiful green color. So let's dig right into this. Uh, by the way, quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just sharing this tutorial with you guys because it's a question that's often asked, Pan, uh, how do I clean the uh, soft top or convertible top on my vehicle? So first order of business, what products will you need? Two simple chemicals, uh, and they come in a kit, by the way, they're from a company that's called 303. You guys know I like them because they make the uh, 303 aerospace protectant, which is a fantastic interior and exterior plastics rubber vinyl uh, protection. So this one here is a convertible top. So this one works for fabric tops, but it also works on tonneau covers. If you guys have a, a tonneau cover on your uh, pickup truck, for example. So what comes in the kit is essentially two uh, simple chemicals. So the first one is of course, you're going to need to clean the surface. So this one here is the 303 tonneau cover and convertible top cleaner. So as it states on the label, it helps to remove tough stains. If it's dirty, it has faded over time or has a bunch of stains on it. You're going to have to thoroughly clean it. We always clean the surfaces before we protect them, right? You guys know if you've been following my channel for a while, that's what we do in car detailing. So clean, enhance and protect. In this case, uh, it rinses residue free. That is one key thing. You don't want to use, you don't want to use harsh chemicals. Some people like to use uh, alkaline pH uh, APCs or degreasers, that kind of stuff. Be very careful. Uh, do not work in direct sunlight on fabric tops. By the way, always work in the shade on a cool surface, uh, but use appropriate chemicals to make sure you're not going to stain the surface or further damage it, right? Uh, so this one works here. Again, it works on uh, soft and hard tops as well. So again, if you have a tunnel cover on your pickup truck, this is perfect for cleaning that. And uh, you're going to need the second second chemical to restore the water repellency. So from the factory, these usually come with a light hydrophobic protection. So the water is going to beat up and sheet off the tunnel cover easily so you don't get any staining. But over time, uh, that can fade away, especially when it gets exposed to the elements. So in this case, we're going to be applying at the end the 303 Fabric Guard. This is made for outdoor fabrics. So again, what this does, it restores uh, repellency for water and it also helps to uh, prevent further staining by repelling all that water off and it makes your cleaning a lot easier when you're doing your maintenance washes. Now for the brush, it is very simple. We're going to use this one here that I absolutely love for convertible tops. It's the 303 convertible top brush and it looks something like this. So it is very easy, ergonomic to hold in your hand, but it comes with these super soft tips and you're going to lather that protection. So first order of business, always rinse your fabric top. So what I like to do uh, is to rinse the vehicle down. You're going to go ahead and wash the car. That is my recommendation first. So the rest of the body, as you normally would, right? Uh, wheels and tires first, the rest of your body. And then when you're done with your final rinse, then it's time to attack the uh, fabric soft top. So while it's wet, make sure you thoroughly rinse any loose dirt and debris off that fabric top. And while the top is wet, you're going to spray the uh, tunnel cover and convertible top cleaner from 303. You're going to mist that on the surface and you're going to start to agitate. You can use uh, a um, soft nylon brush if you want. Uh, you can use a microfiber towel, a terry cloth towel, or a sponge even. Uh, regardless what you guys want, as long as it's something soft to not damage the fibers on the convertible top, right? Uh, but again, the 303 brush just works fantastically well, as you could probably see on screen. It just makes the entire thing lather and foam up. Uh, and you have to apply the uh, cleaner in temperatures, ideally over 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, room temperature basically. That's the best uh, efficiency for the cleaner and the protection. So you're working that in, make sure you're very thorough to cover every single inch or square inch of the fabric top. Uh, and then if you have severe, severe stains, as long as you're not in direct sunlight, you can let it dwell for up to 15 or 20 minutes on the surface. And the key thing is to thoroughly rinse away. So the product, the cleaner, it rinses off freely very easily, but make sure you thoroughly rinse it. 
regardless if you have a garden hose or a pressure washer, be very thorough in your rinsing. And then you're gonna to wanna to let it uh, air dry. If you're outside, it's gonna be a lot quicker, right? Uh, with the sun or if you're uh, inside, make sure that the fabric dries to the touch. So touch the fabric, make sure it's fully dry. Now, a quick pro tip, a lot of people often say uh, there's a bit of lint or um, some fibers maybe that are on their pan. There's still a bit of stuff that are embedded inside the fibers. How do you remove those? So, well, simple, this lint roller. You just roll that on to the fabric top and it's gonna pick up uh, any loose dirt that might still be on there uh, or any um, fibers from your towels perhaps that were left on there. So yeah, just a lint roller, it's gonna stick uh, onto it and you're gonna be able to lift that off because you want your surface to be clean and dry before you apply the protection. And again, it's the 303 Fabric Guard. So the instructions are pretty clear. You're gonna mist this on the surface. It mists very nicely with the sprayer. Uh, so mist that on the surface. You want even coverage. So you can either use a, a soft foam sponge, a sponge if you have one, or even a microfiber towel. So you're gonna mist on the surface, mist a little bit on the microfiber towel, and then a cross hatch pattern. So up and down and left to right. Make sure you fully cover the area you're going to see the product get soaked in pretty easily and it's not going to alter the color of your fabric by the way so it gives you that oem finish and it's going to restore water repellency and of course stain repellency which is very important uh, and then i recommend uh, almost immediately a second light application for a second layer that's to ensure that you're getting again proper coverage so cross hatch pattern up and down left and right uh, cover the entire surface and then you're going to let it dry so ideally again you're working in temperatures at around 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20, 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, and you're gonna need 12 to 24 hours of curing. Uh, what curing means is you're not exposing the vehicle to any water or rain during that time, right? So 12 to 24 hours, no exposure to rain or water, and then you're good to go. You're gonna have restored the hydrophobic properties on your uh, fabric top. So water beading, water sheeting. It's gonna be, uh, again, water repellent. It's gonna make uh, cleaning liquid spills on it a lot easier, and it's gonna make your maintenance washes. When you clean your car again, it's gonna be so much simpler, and you're gonna have that OEM factory appearance on your convertible top. So again, I'll leave the links guys to all these tools and products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a simple tutorial. I have so many more videos on my channel. If you wanna learn everything about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, share the video by the way with friends and family, anybody who has a soft top, or anybody who wants to enjoy learning more about car detailing with Pan the Organizer. So in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.